Well, we popped over to Lamps um, and I found this Berenstain Bears um, hiding actually in the back over here. It's 549 uh, metal and ceramic. Uh, looks like it's from Princess House from 1991, so definitely vintage. There's no breaks, there's no cracks, no chips. Uh, it looks like one recently sold for 22 bucks. It's, uh, no shade. Um, so you could definitely put a shade on this if you had a shade that fits over a light bulb. Um, but I think for five bucks, we're going to definitely go ahead and grab that. There Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me on another episode of Rami's Retro. Um, we are at 91st Avenue in Northern today. I just got off work at my second job. Um, this is close by, so I thought we would pop in and see what kind of fun trouble we can get into. So let's get started. Okay, let's start out uh, with the figurines and plates and things. Um, right off the bat, I found this beautiful, gorgeous thing, California, USA. No cracks or breaks or anything. It's a great little ashtray for $3.49. So that's gonna be our first pickup. How cool is that? I also think these are pretty neat. Sometimes they're made of metal. Um, they're little wall hangings. These are plastic though, Dart Industries. So they do have some uh, age to them and some value. Um, they've got a little year on there. Um, well, the other one did, I thought, it, I thought it did. Did it not? Oh no, I guess it doesn't have the year. It might be covered by the label. Um, but we'll definitely pick those up. So that's another fun find. These little bears are really cute. What are those? He's got his little spectacles you can put on him like that. How cute is that? What is this? Just a little figurine, huh? I don't know. He's really neat. He's got a little chip on his hat there, 549. No signature or anything. And then he's got his little baby friend over here. And that guy's $349. He's really cute. Those are adorable. If it wasn't for the chip, I don't think that chip's gonna be very good for us. Uh, Willetta Arts. It's kind of fun. Here's a little guy to go with it. This looks Greek. Huh. It's not a real vase, though. That's kind of strange. Interesting. Oh. There's a paperweight back here. Don't forget mother. Huh. 349 on that. Don't forget mother. It's kind of an odd an odd saying. Who can forget their mom? That's Johnson Brothers. 349. That's cute. Joan Walsh. 349. Got some pretty iridescence on it. 549 Imperial glass. Um, I don't know. Is that worth anything? Maybe we'll have to throw that in the in the cart in the maybe pile and give that a look up and see if it's worth anything. I do like the colors on it. I'm not usually big into iridescent, but that was really pretty. 249 for Pisa. Um, I don't know. That might have some value to it too. What else do we have here? She's pretty. Little puppies. Um, promises to keep Gorham, huh? Mother makes a happy home. A good mother makes a happy home. You know what? Didn't we see this when we were here last time? <laughs> I think we laughed about it then too. At least I did. Okay. It doesn't look like there's anything really for us in any of these other plates. I might pick up that uh, Leaning Tower of Pisa plate. Um, but the rest of this, it's not anything I'm familiar with and nothing looks very, very outstanding. Um, so let's go ahead for 249. I think we'll pick that guy up. And there's a little Gettysburg plate, 249 on that guy too. All right, let's head down the, down the aisle here and see if there's any other fun stuff. Oh my goodness. I just, I didn't even see those the first time. They're cute. I don't know that they're very old. 349 and he's 449. I don't know who makes them. I don't know what they are. He's got, they got holes in their belly. Are they like to hold incense or something? I don't know. They're so interesting though that I feel like I need to grab these. Um, they're just really cool. So let's throw those in the cart. Well, we're making out here in the figurine aisle right uh, very fast all at once all right what else do we have there's a little girl back here i want to see her 
349. Looks like she's got all of the little petals on her her little nosegay there, her little bouquet of flowers. I don't know who makes her though. Looks like originally she was $7.99, made in China. So I don't know. Probably gonna go ahead and leave her for someone else to enjoy. There's this little Buddha guy back here, made in Japan, $249. He's kind of cute. I, his head is very strange, though. He looks like a cone head. What is wrong with him? Why is his head so enormous? I don't know. He kind of makes me laugh. Maybe I'll throw him in the cart and see if there's any info I can find about him, too. So he's not a for sure, but he is 249. So, I mean, I don't know. How can we go wrong? 349. The glazes and all that fantastic though if it had some blue or something in it maybe maybe i'd go for it a little more this is interesting what's this little handmade sun mask i don't know why he's connected to whatever this thing is that he's connected to it doesn't look like it really goes but i do like the sun he's really cute he's definitely handmade 449 on that i think i'm gonna go ahead and grab that guy for 449 he's probably worth about 15, 20 bucks. All right. Let's keep walking here. See what else we got. Oh, she's falling over. That's from uh, Hocus Pocus. 249, huh? What's underneath her? Ooh, 149 on that guy. And breed something, something German. We're going to grab that for $1.49. Absolutely. Into the cart she goes. This is a fun little wood piece. It's got a big break on it right there, though, and a big break right here, right in her face. That's too bad. It's like a little spoon or something for $5.49. No mushroom mirror. Hi, guys. That's $2.49 on that. It's got a little chip on the top, though. Speaking of mushrooms, $0.99. Cents. It's not old, though. These bookends are kind of cool, but those are from Home Goods, so they're new. We'll pass on those, leave them for someone else. Here's a little bit what they have left of Christmas. We definitely don't need that, so let's uh, slide around the corner and see what they've got in vases. Candles, vases, and things. So what do we got here? What kind of fun stuff? Doesn't look like there's really anything for us. Nothing too old. Those little corn... Uh, candles are cool. They're, they just have a little bit of burn. That guy's brand new. A little molded candle. Looks like he's from Hawaii. 99 cents. And then candle holders and things. Nothing much here. See a little gnome. He's adorable. Windsor, Canada. This little dolphin is cool. Is he broken? Um, it doesn't seem to be broken for $2.49. I think we might grab the little dolphin. I like him. So I'll go ahead and put that guy in the cart. Don't see anything else though with candle holders or metal. Nothing that we can't live without. Um, This has got a little JS signature on it, 149. It's an interesting box. It's got the little hearts on it. I kind of like that. It's like a little resin box, 349. It definitely has some age to it. And Valentine's Day is coming up, so maybe we should grab this box um, for 349. I think we'll take that. Kind of fun and vintage and retro looking. This little basket's pretty. Pressed glass, $3.49. All right, let's swing around the corner and see what else we got. Okay, we've got glass, glassware. So let's see if there's anything we cannot leave without grabbing. Those are kind of pretty with the cranberry color for $1.49. There's quite a few of them, one, two, three, four, five. Um, these are kind of fun. I saw um, somebody, I can't remember who it was, I saw a video recently where she 
she talked about those and that they were a good seller. Um, there's just that one there, though, so I think we'll go ahead and pass. And it isn't necessarily old. Um, these are lead crystal. They have the little stickers on them still. Oh, wow, $6.49. Okay, $6.49 each on those. So they're definitely trying to get their money out of those. What are these guys? Kind of a cranberry glass, red ruby glass, $1.49. Okie dokie. Um, there's kind of a frosted guy back there for 149 I want to see him. I wonder if we can get him out. Without breaking anything. Good job. Norway, huh? I like that. It's hand painted. Frosted glass. Uh, 149 huh? I think I might go ahead and grab that for 149 and see how we do. Anything else in glassware? Not seeing anything. Oh, those blue glass are kind of pretty, but I don't know. Um, so let's go head on over to mugs. Okay, mugs, let's see what we got here. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. It's five o'clock somewhere. That is really cute. It's not old, but it's really, really adorable. All right, oops, sorry. <laughs> Go ahead and throw that in the cart. That's okay. <clears throat> All right. Let's keep looking here, see what we got. Nothing. Don't worry, be happy. Don't hurry, be happy. That's cute. Don't hurry, be happy. It's got some age to it, it looks like. Fine porcelain, 149. I like the little unicorns. That's very cute. Who makes that? Um, Meritage, made in China, but unicorns are very popular. And for 149, there's no breaks or anything on that. We might go ahead and pick that up, even though it's not old, and just see if we can make a few dollars on that. Um, 149 is a pretty good price. I like this little guy too. It does say that it is food safe. That's good. <laughs> I have actually seen mugs before that said not for food use. Well, what else would you use a coffee mug for then if it's not for food? A little San Pedro cactus mug. That's kind of fun. Okay. What about this shelf? Any goodies on here? Mm, looks kind of Christmassy. Um, no. Oh, what's that? That's interesting. I have a feeling we looked at that before. Did we? Or did I see something else that was like this? I really like that. It does have a little stamp on there. I don't know what kind of stamp. Um, but for $3.49, I feel like there's some value there. So we'll maybe go ahead and grab that guy. What's this? Seattle. It's got some chips. That's too bad. I really like that. There's a little... Beer Stein, 349. Hmm. And here's another one. These have got some pretty good weight to them. I don't know. <coughs> Ceramic beer steins. I think we might uh, pass, leave those for somebody else. It looks like that's it for mugs. Um, let's see what we've got over here with cups and saucers and the rest of glass. Um, very busy in here today and there have been some uh, people in the aisles and they want to try to get into the video and watch what I'm doing um, and like like you saw earlier um, even run into me so it's tough to get around sometimes I really like this for 249 it's like for so you don't get your mustache like all messed up when you're drinking um, this is really really cool but it's got a really nasty chip right there and like this is where you put your mouth so that's not going to work out for us, but this definitely has some value. Um, probably 20 bucks, and for 249 that would have been a sweet pickup. So it's too bad. Maybe we'll find some more. Maybe we'll find another one. That's a neat little set. 249 for that. There's four of them. I don't know what it says. I can't see. Masco. I wonder if those have any value. They're just a transfer wear, but they're pretty. It doesn't look like they've done any breaks or anything. Might have to look those up, see if they're worth anything. Um, these little snack plates are cute too, with the 
the flowers. $249 for the set. I, I like that pricing. I like the pricing they have here. Um, I don't know. Let's look up these NASCO ones and see if uh, they're worth anything. Well, those NASCO, uh, there's one listed right now for $8 on sale. And so I think I'm going to go ahead and pass on those. There's no solds. Um, but we are also now in wood, um, which, as you can see, is a typical disaster. Um, so let's take a quick scan and see if anything catches our eye. Um, but it looks like there's not a whole lot we can get to. Um, there's just no point in digging through all of this um, and risking it all falling on us. I like that Morton Salt sign. Um, it's actually like a tile or metal or something. Uh, 349 on that. When it rains, it pours. It was like framed professionally at Michael's, but it's actually like a little tin sign. I think I'm gonna pick that up for 349. Um, I like the f professional frame, and if somebody collects those um, metal signs, they might get it just to, to take it out of that. So let's see what else we have here. Just some frames and things, nothing too exciting. Bottom shelf. No, nope. not seeing anything here. Not seeing anything here. Oh, what's this? Uh, it's like a little box purse, Switzerland. Oh dear, let's not break it. Um, I love this, painted by Ruth something door. Um, I really like this. Hi guys. That's very, very sweet. How much is this? $4.49. Heck yeah. That's worth some dollars right there. Vintage box purse, hand painted, sold. This on the other hand, although it's kind of cool, like for wine bottles, I guess, maybe. Um, I don't think it's very old. Yep. It's from Ross. So we'll pass on that guy. What is this? It's like a hook for something. $349. I think we'll pass on that. Anything else down here? This is the especially scary shelf. Like, what is happening here? Oh my god. I'm not seeing anything else though. Nothing jumping out at us. What's this little shelf? Can I even get it out without dying? I don't think so. And it's got a break right there, so I guess we'll pass on that, even though I would like to see what it is. Um, what about this hand carved? It's really lightweight, though. 349. Mm. There's another little hand carved piece. Elephant, India, 249. Uh, that I think we'll go ahead and grab. Um, mostly because it's an elephant and people collect elephants. What's this interesting little, I don't know what, 349? Huh, I don't know, what do you do with that? What is this? Just like a little wood puzzle or do you, are these for something? I don't know. If anybody knows what that is, let me know. He's cute, little heart. Liza, 349. That's sweet, Valentine's Day is coming. Maybe we'll go ahead and, well, I don't know. I mean, I've seen these in the stores and stuff before. They're pretty readily available. I don't know if we could get more than maybe five or six bucks for it. So maybe we'll go ahead and leave that for somebody else to grab as a gift for someone. Here's a little, I'm guessing a matchbox holder. It doesn't have a bottom though, so I don't know how it would hold anything. $249. Eh, I think we'll go ahead and leave that guy too. Anything in clocks? doesn't look like it and then this is a kind of the crafty supplies don't see anything there for us um so let's head around the corner and see what we have in um well we missed an aisle i can't remember what it is though um but let's go check it out we missed vases because there were some people in this aisle and unlike some people i don't like to be in the same aisle with others and get in their way of their shopping so i avoided this aisle and now there's no one here so let's check it out 
Silicone. That guy is kind of cool. $349. I do like the color on that. It's kind of like purples and blues. I think we'll grab that for $349. No signature, but no chips or breaks or cracks or anything. It's glazed inside, so you can use it for flowers. It will hold water. That is good. These are weird. Kind of newer, contemporary. I think these are too. Oh, these are lampshades. They are not even vases. Okay. Not seeing anything else down here, though. This looks more contemporary. Um... Than, than old and it's only 349 it does have some kind of a little I don't know what on here I think it says not food safe so that is a definite that it is not old um, and it has a little chip there on the top yeah no I'm not gonna get it all right what else do we have here that's awfully pretty uh, I think it was a lamp. Definitely for a lamp. That's very pretty. It's got a little scratch on it, though. That's too bad. Made in Japan, $249. If you have it this way, though, you can't see the little scratch. I don't know. Maybe I should grab him anyway for $249. He's probably got a little bit of value, huh? A little meat on the bone there. If not, I'll keep him because he's really cute. But I'm not seeing anything else made in china little uh, wall pocket 249 got a big crack right there a big chip and the gold's coming off the top so i think we'll pass on him cow with some bread interesting i don't see that every day some just basic glass so nothing there and then we get into kind of bathroom stuff so nothing there so let's head around the corner we got bags here against the back wall, so let's check out bags really quick and see if there's anything that we can't live without. Most of this is all crafty stuff, so that's not going to go for us. Uh, we got some frames in here. It looks like they're just frames and not art. Sometimes I can't tell. Well, it does look like there's some art, but it just looks like a print. Nothing too spectacular. This is kind of fun. I don't know what it is. It's got a little hole on the top. Um, but it's kind of that ugly pottery stuff. Yeah, pretty ugly pottery made in Wales. And then this looks like it's foreign. Like a cup. How much is this baggie? $3.49. And then another little brown cup in there. Probably not worth much. I think that bag's worth $3.49 though. I'm going to pick that up. We got a nice full cart today, kids. We're not even done yet. What else do we have in bags? This bag of frames, frames. Here's some little figurines, a little shoe, a little America bear. She's a sweetheart, I have her. Um, how much is this bag? $4.49. I have that same little figure. I've had it since I was little. There's a little Mary figurine. She's cute. I think we'll pass on that one though. Okay. And then it gets into kind of arts and crafts stuff here too. So don't need anything there. Um, let's see. I think that we missed this aisle, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I believe we did. So let's check this out. Kind of faces, um, teapots, things like that. Let's see if there's anything great and amazing. Uh, no, not yet. That little kitty cat um, teapot is cute. Let's see if we can get to that. Move some stuff around here a little bit. Okay, three forty nine. PMC made in China. It is very adorable, though. I don't know. I don't know if it has any value, but the cats are cute. Um, strawberries. $3.49. $1.49, Pier 1. OK, 
Okay, and now we're getting a little into like bowls and things. Let's see what we got here. Wow, those are all together for $5.49. They're kind of like a black lacquerware with gold. I don't know. That might be a lookup item. We might need to look look into that and see what see what that's all about. These are $5.49 as well. China. Anything down here? No. $2.49 on that guy. Made in China. Here's a pretty transferware bowl. $2.49. No maker's mark or anything on that. And then we got some plates here. Little plates. A little soap dish for $1.49 with flowers. That's sweet. These are all saucers. It's a fun pattern on that one. Kind of cool. Swirls. Okay. Anything else in here for us? No. No, no. Not really. Ugh. Oh. I've seen this guy all over town. Quite a few of those. All right. Um, so let's swing around the corner. It looks like they are putting out a fresh cart, so that's always fun. Okay, well, I looked up uh, some of that stuff. This uh, Imperial glass plate sold for $55 a few weeks ago. So this is definitely a fantastic pickup for $5.49, um, especially with that label on it, I'm sure. Um, and then uh, stocking the new carts, I found this guy for $2.49, a little alabaster box. It does have a little damage here on the back corner. Um, but that's on the back and it's on the corner and it's only $2.49. I still think that there's some decent value there. So we're going to definitely pick that guy up. <coughs> um, I put the black uh, lacquer bowls um, back. There's some chips and scratches, um, especially on this top one that I didn't notice at first. So even though there's six of them, that's a pretty cool price for six. I think we're going to pass because I don't need them to be damaged. Um, and they do feel really plasticky to me, so that wasn't very fun either. Um, and then let's check out, I, I picked this up thinking it was a really cool little chip and dip, um, and then I realized it's handmade. This is a bowl and a plate. Um, it's Winfield uh, porcelain, uh, which does have some value, but this is like a homemade little piece, and it's a little off as you can see. So for $4.49, we'll go ahead and leave that guy behind for someone else. Um, and I'm not seeing really anything else here. Um, $2.49 for that. It's really faded though. It's almost gone, the little pattern on it. Oh God, things are falling. $4.49 on that guy, uh, made in Portugal. But I think we're gonna go ahead and pass. I have a feeling it's like a newer piece. Um, that somebody got at Home Goods or something. Nothing down there. Some turkey platters and things. Oh, this looks like it might have some age to it. Are we going to be able to actually get to it? That's the question. <laughs> Here's another one of those little hat guys. Three forty-nine for that. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and leave him behind, though. He does have some age, though. Um, all right. Let's see what else we missed. Um, and I'll get back to you if I find anything um, that I think is amazing. Otherwise, we might be heading up to the front. Well, we popped over to Lamps, um, and I found this Bernstein Bears um, hiding actually in the back over here. It's $5.49 uh, metal and ceramic. Uh, looks like it's from Princess House from 1991, so definitely vintage. There's no breaks, there's no cracks, no chips. Uh, it looks like one recently sold for $22. Bucks. It's, uh, no shade. Um, so you could definitely put a shade on this if you had a shade that fits over a light bulb. Um, but I think for five bucks, we're going to definitely go ahead and grab that. There is some definite value there. And while we're in lamps, I guess we'll take a look at some of these other ones, because what's this guy? Oh, he's really damaged. He's got some sticker goo there. That would have come off, but he's missing several petals. So we're going to have to definitely pass on him. Not even has a price on him, so no price breaks. We will go, uh, we will 
avoid that. Um, doesn't look like there's anything else though for us here in Lamps. So let's uh, head on over to Art. All right, let's check out Art. Um, I also checked out some of the aisles uh, without you. Um, it was getting really busy there for a minute. So I did some, I did pick up some things that aren't on film. I will share those with you in just a moment. Let's check out Art really quick first. It doesn't look like there's anything here for us though. Um, all just contemporary stuff and prints and things. No fun original art. That is a really neat little framed um, puzzle. That's really cool, but we don't need that. There's another puzzle. It's really nice. That's cool. They've got it all wrapped up in plastic. That's really neat. Um, and that's kind of a fun little guy, but he's contemporary art. It's not like a real painting, but it's fun and bright, 449. All right, so the fun stuff that I got without you kind of went a little overboard. I went back through wood. Um, this was probably there, but it was under some stuff. I did a little bit of digging. Um, it's got a little bit of scratching on it, but I think I can clean it up really nice. And for $1.49, that's a neat little thermometer. Definitely has some age to it. So I picked that up. Um, I got this little meerkat guy. He doesn't have any damage. $3.49. He's handmade, hand-painted. Um, and I checked him out really good. It looks like all the parts are there. I think that somebody would probably like to pick that up. He's really neat. Very lifelike, very cool. So for $3.49, I figured that was a good pickup. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, then we grabbed this guy, a little needle point. Count your blessings, not your problems. That's for sure. 99 cents. How could I go wrong with that? It's definitely got some value to it. I don't know how I missed this guy, but he's the little dude that goes with the, the other plate that I've got in there for $1.49. So I'm glad that I went back through and saw him. Um, so that's an awesome find. Now I've got a pair. It's a little Buddha incense burner, 99 cents. White ceramic. I mean, can't go wrong with that. Uh, San Francisco, 349. That's an old, really cute, old vintage music box. And I wound it, and it was singing to me for a little while while I was walking down the aisle. So it does work. And how rare is that? So 349, totally going to grab that. Um, Valentine's Day is upon us. So this little dude um, from 1984 for 99 cents, that was a no brainer. Can get some dollars for that. Here's a little cigar ashtray. Um, and that guy's two forty nine. dollars um, I think there's some value there. A little fading to the, to the gold, but it's really sweet. The cute little cherubs. So I'm going to grab that guy and see what we do with him. I picked up these Pier... Oh, there he goes. These Pier 1 um, imports corn holders. They don't have any damage to them. This guy, seven forty nine. dollars She just put this out. Um, this is a vintage Israel um, little ewer, I guess. Um, and it looks like these can sell for around 60 bucks or so. So that was definitely a good pickup. So some fun things and definitely a full cart today. So I think we are going to head on to the front. Before we go, I wanted to check out linens. I want to start trying to make that part of our regular routine because um, they're easy and inexpensive to ship. And sometimes you can find really great stuff. So let's check out some of the uh, miscellaneous stuff see like this what's this this looks cool Phillip Island Yarra River where is this Melbourne Australia 99 cents for this little linen tea towel Let go. so we're definitely gonna grab that and on the way over here to linens I passed this guy who was sticking out um, he's 549 a little candle holder um, he sits on the ground and then he's got this sort of cross design that comes up from from the back of him so really cool it's made of like a iron like metal it's got some rust on it really cool shabby chic so i like that um yeah and this melbourne australia tea towel i love the colors on that very neat very vintage so 99 cents absolutely we'll pick that up for 99 cents so probably worth maybe 15 bucks so it's a sweet profit a little bit you know every little bit helps all right now I think maybe we can head on up to the front. The cart's getting kind of hard to steer with one hand um, because we definitely filled the cart today. I'm happy when we can do that. It's always exciting. Um, all right, I'll meet you in the car. Okay, well, total spend there was $74. Um, I think we got some really amazing things. Of course, I always think we get really amazing things. Uh, but this time we really did. We got some fun stuff. So very excited to see where it goes. Make sure you check out my eBay store. 
Um, obviously, I always try to update you too when I sell things in videos. Um, um, thank you all for all of your love and your support um, for getting me to over 500 subscribers. Of course, I genuinely appreciate that. And here's on the journey to a thousand. So thank you all for being with me, um, enjoying the journey. And until next time, be safe out there, have fun in your travels, and I'll see you later. Bye.